Welcome, I'm Art Radke. I'm the publisher of The Informed Entrepreneur. And today we're with Cindy Roche um, of The Skinny Dip, All right? She is a 2012 Minerva Award winner. Congratulations. Thank you, Art. Thanks. It's <laughs> great. Now, I will tell you, I found this store with my daughter. She goes to ODU. And she just absolutely loves it. Okay. Thank you. Um, and she was like, Dad, you have to go. You got to take mom. And so that's how we originally found the skinny dip. Dad, you uh, got to come skinny dipping with me. That's correct. <laughs> that is correct. And um, and they regularly make trips uh, d down here. The uh, because we're what a mile and a half away from ODU. Oh, uh, we are so excited to come right here in Ghent. And right. uh, this location used to be Taste Unlimited. Oh, and right. uh, we heard they were leaving, and uh, we jumped right in and said, please let us have that spot. Great walking traffic. Very very limited parking, but the walking traffic is great right. with all the restaurants. Okay. Well, it's great. We love it here. Very good. And uh, tell us about uh, your operation here, about the Skinny Dip, and you know a little bit of how you got started, and sure. uh, and what the specialness of, of it is. Sure. Um, well, um, we have eight Skinny Dips. Uh, we are franchising now, and um, it all started back in uh, 2007. Uh, my brother um, took me to a yogurt shop in San Diego, and we went in there. And I'll have to tell you, Art, it wasn't a great experience. Yeah. It was um, dirty. It was um, ugly. Uh, you had to go over here to get your bowl. You had to go over here to get your yogurt. You had to go over here to get your toppings. You had to go over here to get your yogurt. I mean, just go get everything, your spoon over here. And it was just, I kept complaining so much about, why didn't they do this? And why didn't they do this? And they should have done this. And um, I'm sure my yogurt tasted great. My frozen yogurt tasted great. But the experience alone made it not a great experience and probably made that bowl not taste as great as it could have been. Right. Um, so most of my vacation in California, I complained about this store. And I went back another time even and I said, you know, I'm going to try it again. And I just didn't like it. And um, kind of saying, complaining about it and, and talking about what I thought would have been better for this shop, um, my husband kind of said, why don't you shut up or open your own shop? I said. Well, maybe I will. So no kidding, coming home from the airport in Norfolk, I'm driving down uh, by Lansdowne Commons. I see a brand new shopping center. It said, coming soon, Lansdowne Commons. Best Buy, Kohl's, coming in. And I'm like, wow, what a great place for a yogurt shop. So took the phone number down and called them up and said, I'd like to open a yogurt shop. And like, well, what company are you from? I'm like, I, I'm not from a company. I'm just going to open my own shop. Well, we have Cold Stone and Brewsters and Rita's and all of them wanting to come in here. Who are you? I'm like, I'm just a Hampton Roads um, neighborhood gal, and I would love to open a yogurt shop, and I really think if you give me the chance, I can do it. And um, they gave me a chance, and I opened my first shop right there, May of 2008. And that's just super that they were willing to it, let a local company. It, it was very chancy, yeah. and the banks weren't so great about it. I'm a nobody opening a yogurt shop. Some of the TCBYs were closing, and um, it wasn't so great going to the banks. I had great, um, Great financials, but it was such a business that they hadn't heard of that they were that didn't want to take a chance on me. I took a chance on myself. I took all the money I could, took some credit cards out, took my kids' college funds, <laughs> and um, opened up my first yogurt shop. And um, and um, it was a very small little yogurt shop. And we have since moved from there. Uh, we we doubled our size moving across from the in the in the same shopping center, but we outgrew our first one very quickly. Um, Hampton Roads really embraced us very nicely. All right, super. And um, uh, you know, give us a little bit about the philosophy of. Um, I mean, you have the best product. I mean, it's not just a, a product, but mm -hmm. I mean, you you well, we, work very um, hard at that. We we do. Um, we have a great frozen yogurt, um, and uh, we play with recipes all day long. Um, we. I remember one day I walked in and I saw um, a mom and a dad and a little brother eating frozen yogurt and then I saw a little sister have a bowl of just fruit and I, said, and I walked up and I said, hey, how come you don't have any frozen yogurt? She goes, I can't have dairy. And I'm like, oh. And the, and the mom and dad just felt a little bad. They just gave her fruit. I'm like, huh. So we thought a little bit and we were able to come up with a non-dairy kind of product, soft wow. serve. And uh, we have a vegan soft serve, we have a non-dairy soft serve, which you know also includes some sorbets. But now they come in and the whole family enjoys something. Right. And that, that made me feel really good. That made me feel really good. But it really is a self-serve format. Um, you grab a bowl, you grab a frozen yogurt, and we sometimes have eight to 10, we have eight, sometimes 10 frozen, um, frozen yogurts to choose from. 
You fill the bowl with any of them or all of them. We don't care. We're going to weigh the bowl. Go to the topping area, and we've designed it like an island. So you can actually go down one side, go down another side. You can talk to your mom across, this, across from you. Um, you fill it up any way you want to, and then you put it on the scale. We don't charge by how many yogurts you chose, how many toppings you chose. We're going to weigh that bowl. Right. Fantastic. And that um, attention to, you know, that, that little girl who's having just fruit, um, uh, you know, I think that brings up another point that I've always found special about here, and that is the people that work here. Um, it, 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 you know, you walk in, you immediately get um, uh, welcomed, oh, a yo, and stu- a yo, yeah, a yo. Heartfelt and, yo. and stuff, and you know, and, and you know, we're going to have a lot of business people who will see this video, and, and one of the big challenges they always have is, how do I find good staff and, and have them do what they're supposed to do? And Ed, you've done a great job with that. Any well, insights? Yeah, we, um, we actually don't take job applications. We have an email address. It's hiremeattheskinnydip.com. And what it is is we ask applicants to just send us an email. They could uh, attach pictures. They could put in a poem. They could make a video. I've had a rap sent to me. But what's great about it is um, it's different than filling out just a traditional job application, name, address, phone number, where'd you work, how much you get paid, what'd you do. This one, you actually really have to show your personality. You have to write a letter like it's and sell yourself in that letter. Um, what, like if 10 people walk into the store and want a job application, we ask 10 of them to go to the, write an email, probably only two will. Well, and those point. are the two we really want to pay our, te- pay our attention to. Right. So that's how I think that we grab some really great team members. Right. And it is true. They, um, we, um, we have some great kids. Uh, we have, um, they're just full of personality, and we want that. We want them to yo you when you come in. We want you to thank you. We want them to thank you for coming in when, when you leave. Um, we hope to see you again later. Mm-hmm. Um, we, want, we don't want, um, we, we don't look for that shy person. We want, you know, a real skinny dippy personality <laughs> person. Right. I mean, if you can say to someone, have you skinny dipped before? You have to have it in you to say that to, to a nice little old lady who walked in, you know? Right. Absolutely. So. But the whole place is fun. I have to believe that most of your customers come in a, in the mood, you know, right away. They it's just kind def- of fall in place. It's definitely uh, frozen yogurt really brings in healthy attitude people. Um, they come in expecting to have a good time. Um, what's there not to like? You got to take a taster cup and try something. You got to put in the bowl what you wanted. You got to top it how you wanted. You got to make it exactly how you wanted. It's a control freak dream. And uh, the last thing is you do a lot to include your customers in, in a lot of sort of thing. If your Facebook page, you, you've got a, a few people on your Facebook page. Oh, yeah, uh, we are. We're. <laughs> We're coming on to about 31,000 fans, and they are active fans. They are telling people what they like, what they what they are going to have tomorrow. Um, the best thing they do is um, they'll put on their skinny dip page on their own page. They'll post, "I went skinny dipping today with my daughter," yeah. and it's great for people in Hampton Roads who know what the skinny dip is. But their friends and family who live out of the area, they'll be like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> and um, I hear great stories yeah. uh, about that. But um, we are always getting new fans and one reason why I think we have so many fans is we actively speak back with them. We are always responding. Um, hey, it's my mom's birthday and she loves the cake batter. Will you have it in tomorrow? And we try our best to do that. Right. We try to listen. Excellent. Well, once again, congratulations Thank and you. Uh, look forward to my next time skinny dipping uh, with my family. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> great. I can't wait. Very good. Thank you. Thank- thanks.